guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, winter plowing, moldboard plowing with the Big John Deere. That happened Christmas Eve. The boys and I were doing a herd check and dad came in there, he says, look, it's gonna freeze, we're gonna get a bunch of snow, the, the weather's gonna turn nasty, I got a chance to roll this field under a hay field. So he took this John Deere tractor and hooked it up to this eight bottom plow. Check it out, this is a Kong's Kildee, built out of Canada. We painted it green just to match, match the tractor. Had a subscriber tell me to do that, it was a great idea. Look at this girl. He's got her shined up, let's hit the field. Check it out, let's go. eight bottom plow we'll get a better look at it we bought this last year about this time uh auction online and it's a big eight bottom tongue pull we use it in the spring and once we got done using it i mean look at this thing it's all each one of these get you, you lock them cylinders down and it's you set it so it's easy to to go up and down when you're making your turns this was added for strength look at that Look at whoever did that, they knew they didn't want this thing getting crinkled up. With that tractor we used, we got plenty of horsepower. The thing was rolling over like nothing. But so this was a good addition because we we you know we roll them hay fields over um pretty consistently to keep that, that haylage as fresh as we can to put in the silos for the cows. Yeah, this was that field that we took them round bales off of uh, a few videos back because he was going to try to get that plowed. I mean, you've seen this stuff just roll right over. We spread on it a little bit. That's mixed with, with cow manure right there. That's just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to break down. And that's the reason he wanted to get out there and get that ripped up. Uh, for one, in the spring, you don't have a lot of time. You want to get your stuff planted. There's only a small window that can be. And two, if you can get a field plowed, you know, in the in the in the winter, it's gonna give it that much time to just sit there and bust down and decompose, whatever you want to call it, because that hay field's tough and you want this stuff to just crumble so you have a good seed bed because this will all be corn next year and it should grow good on a freshly plowed hay field, corn will just shoot right out of the ground. So in the spring when he comes in there, he'll put that disc down, it'll just boom crumble once he got done with that field back there he ended up moving to a field on the back side of the farm another hay field we're going to plow up so we put in 60 fresh acres of hay next year i want to show you that one he plowed half it so we can spread on the other half this winter so it'll be smooth let's check it out so here's the other field i was talking about it's on the back side of the farm you see the farm right there wait what the heck is that we're about to come up on something here he hooked and popped a massive rock out of the ground Look at that. Check the red, check the green paint right there. That is something else. Yeah, he came through here 
like I said, there's always going to be hay or corn here so we can chop and fill the silos. Right on the back side, we'll just keep rotating them. This hay probably was four to five years, and then we'll flip it and go to corn. He must have hit this rock perfectly. I mean, just to give you an idea how big this thing is. Look at that. He hit it perfectly, popped it. It went right over it. Didn't even hurt the, uh, the plow. Look at that. It's more flat on this side. That's like a... That rock right there, I had someone ask me, how big do you think that rock is? I think it weighs about four or five hundred. You kidding me? A rock like this, you, like a, bigger than a bowling ball, is 100, 200 pounds. This thing's a ton. The mere fact that he he hit this sucker and didn't break anything, dang miracle. You know what I say, hey, guys, there's good days and there are bad days. He got this done, and he came home that night, and then it, it got nasty. Nothing broke. That was a good day. Yeah, I think I'll end up getting this moved. I'll try to set it up like this at my house. I mean, look at the way, I don't know if you can see that. That's all from fossils and water and, you know, the story this thing could tell. I mean, every rock, I had a guy tell me, is an antique. So we're gonna, you're gonna see this this spring, trying to get that out of the ground. I don't know if the backhoe can do it or not, but if it can, we might be able to flop on a trailer Put it at my house. Put my house numbers on or something so the pizza guy knows where to turn into. Yeah, here's a little closer angle. There's the farm there. And I know I've had a lot of video on this field, drone footage, cutting it and bailing it, but so now he, he plowed the half. He's leaving the rest here for uh, spreading. Spread that manure, you gotta have a spot for it. Life of a dairy farmer. Back up at the main farm. Right on time, time for milking. Hey, check it out. We got this powered up a bit. We got the lights in. Work in progress, but we're gonna try to get it going. We get all this stuff moved on that wall. Hey Lance, you ready to get going? Oh yeah. Go. All right, rock and roll. Big 80. Hey, big girl. You guys ready? Okay, first group of cows are on. I brought you back in here because I wanted to show you a couple cows that calved this past few days. I always like to keep you up to date on on who, who's coming in. I showed you them in the barnyard, so I'm gonna show you them here, that 86 calf and a 112. See, I had an 86 and a 112 crossed off. So I'm gonna, when they come in, I'll show them to you, see how they're doing. While we're waiting for those two fresh cows to come in, I had to take my shirt off. The cows have produced so much heat, milk and heat. 129. She's like that, that guy in Happy Gilmore. She's always in the picture. How you doing, bud? How you doing? What do you say? Okay. Hey guys, look who just moseyed on in. That's the headbanger. 86. This is a fresh cow. Look at the build iron. Look how clean that is. That cow is probably the cleanest cow we've got. Look at that. Milking. That's her. That's one of the fresh cows. She's uh, very calm and uh, been around. I wish we had a, a bunch of cows like her and then a couple like her too. Last but not least, look who came strolling in. 112. This is your, your, your newest fresh cow. I just checked her card. Fourth four calf. Uh, so that puts her, her at about six years old. Look at the cleanliness. What do you think about that? Might want some more feed. Hey guys, I think that's gonna do it. Sure do appreciate you stopping by. Hey, 20,000 subscriber push. We're getting there, we're close. Must be subscribed. We're gonna do a giveaway once we get there, okay? So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank you for giving me the gift of your attention. Uh, see you in the next one, God bless.